Hey guys, I'm Seb and I'm going to shortcast this game against um, between um, Commentator Nongano. I have no idea who he is. I saw he posted that game on Game Replays. And he will be playing against Freestyler, who is a well known expert player on Game Replays. So let's directly start with the game. I'm at 5 second mark and we unpause in 3, 2, 1, unpause 6, 7, 8, 9. So I don't really know what to expect. It seems like Freestyler is going for um, forward HQ strategy since he's sending his first pioneer in the middle of the map, capping that point and not getting any building on his base he'll probably put the forward HQ on that building as we often see people um, doing I mean, that's the favorite um, HQ position I guess because it's a big building um, so it, I'm, yeah, I mean it's a big building, so it's harder to destroy. It's also harder for grenades or flamethrower to completely wipe uh, one squad inside the building, like small buildings. Um, it's also in a pretty good position. Um, it's covered with there's some cover with the edge. You can easily fire over that that river and. That's yeah. That's why people are choosing this building instead of like this one. Mm. American player is doing two engineer start and one uh, rifleman. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm a bit, a bit confused. Um, I guess I'm, I must be a bit tired. Um, I already made two shortcasts today, and in the last shortcast, my my voice was. Um, being a bit, a bit, um, how do you say that? Tired, I, I will say. So I, I guess I'm not, I'm not really. <laughs> I don't know if I should have done that shortcast um, now. We've seen, we've seen um, capulking, capulking there. It's not as good as it can be, but it's definitely a good move. So when your riflemen are capping points. We don't see much people doing it, but it's actually very strong. When you're capping a point, you click somewhere else on the map, and then you click faster again on the point, and you will see one of the the men on the squad going, going for, I mean, leaving the squad and already going to the next position, and this allows you to um, cap faster the map, since you don't have to walk um, between the two points. If, for example, the riflemen are still capping that point, and there is one man already going for that point, if you um, issue a cap um, shift Q to cap the, the second field point right after, the fir the guy who went there alone will be first one, will be already capping the point while the other one will walk to rejoin, and you gain like the time you walk every time you do it, so that's really good if you can micro correctly to doing it I try to do it myself but I I don't success really well and sometimes I also completely forget about it so yeah, if, if you can be used to it, it can really give you give you um, more time in the battlefield instead of capping and walking so that's, that's a good thing to do um, so we've seen um, the HQ, uh, the HQ, and the American player fighting near the DHQ. That's not a good idea. Um, those Volksgrenadier can just move uh, some some meters and just reinforce. So the American player will lose manpower, and at the end he will be forced to retreat at some point. And the Vermont player won't have to retreat, and he will be able to cap the map and set up uh, mines and all that stuff when the American player is retreating so against um, HQ strat like that the thing you want to do and I have a replay to show that I played against Shane in WMD um, holiday tournée so check that replay on replay section against Shane if you want 
against uh, HQ you want to avoid too much fights um, in the early game you just want to keep um, keep stalling and getting time and just be on the field to prevent him to put mines but not being fighting and as soon as you can and he does it so that's good you, you should get bar and once you have um, the bar I the Volksgrunner deer won't be able to counter because on the forward HQ there is no machine gun there's only Volks so you won't be able to counter yo with uh, the Volks with uh, only Volks you can just put your four rifleman squad and bar together and just completely um, kill all of those Volks and push him out of the field and that's basically instant win however he's exactly doing what he shouldn't be in this game he's do doing for the right taking but he's not getting the right timing I mean by that he just retreated all of his units so when he has bar he's on his base he's not in a good position he has to reinforce the squad before the next fight so basically he just completely lost the map and completely lost any advantage he could have by getting bar at that point you definitely don't want to fight until you have the bar you avoid the fight you just stay stay around to prevent mines from being being down and that's it you don't lose manpower you don't allow the opponent to cap the map like it's happening now you don't fight near the near the forward HQ until you can really kill the units and you don't flank with riflemen there's no machine gun to flank you don't care about that you just keep all of your riflemen together and you just make a massive push and focus fire on Volks after the other and they will just completely completely die however, however as I said he's he completely lost um, the advantage he could have at that point and I uh, he will probably have a hard time coming back because he's fighting this rifleman will have to retreat and then he will have to fight later with a weakened army since this rifleman will be missing and then that means he will basically be one fight one unit versus the whole the whole blob during all the game since he's retreating that guy then those will have to retreat then this one will come back on the field and it, he, yeah, it's it's a bad bad timing. Um, he's playing well. Uh, he's um, taking well, but he's not um, microing well on the field. He's getting the mission charge. That's a good thing. I always do that. As soon as I see a bunker being upgraded, I get the mission charge. It's a really free, free, not free, but cheap way to deal with bunkers. Just 50 munitions and. The bunker upgrade costs also 50 munitions, so you don't lose any munition compared to your opponent. So it's like f it was free for yourself. So always get the recent share when there's a bunker. And as I said, um, those riflemen are not enough to counter the Vols. They're they will still deal lots of damage, but you should focus fire in one squad at a time. Here, as we can see, is is doing damage to all of the squads. And if he focused fire one squad. He could completely, as he did now, completely kill them. Um, and ever without all of the riflemen together, we've seen the the bar being completely, completely a rampage against those Volksgrenadier. So that's definitely what you want to do. And the Fairmarch should put mines to prevent this, but he didn't do it. He got flamethrower instead, so there was no mine to weaken those riflemen before the fight. And those Volksgrenadiers were not in a good position. They've been flanked I mean yeah we can say flank but they just were in this cover and riflemen were firing from their back so th sorry for the little mouse mouse fuck up um, uh, yeah let me just get back into it so yes yeah, I, sa I was saying the Vermont player did not lay mines he should be doing it and he also didn't take a good fight he wasn't in a good position in my it might have better to put some wires in that place to prevent riflemen from coming from behind. From behind, here we saw mine being led, but the Vermont player saw that, so he just used flamethrower to explode that mine. Ni nicely play. You don't want it nicely play from Vermont. You don't want as a American or whatever to put mines when your opponent is seeing what you're doing. And there is a rifleman, the guy who retreated earlier from there, which is fight which he is fighting alone on the second. That's not good. He should avoid that fight. Um not retreating. But no, it's too late, he should be retreating because he won't be able to soft retreat. He should have just waited all of his little mates to, to 
come helping him. Getting trash center, really good move. You want the trash center mm, to heal those riflemen, to be able to win more fights, to lose less manpower and all that stuff. He should be putting trash um, supply yard because he has the manpower and the fuel. He will, ha he will have to put it anyway, and the sooner the better for his veterancy and his um, upkeep. So he should be putting it now. There's no reason to, to delay to delay it. At that point in the game, he should get Minesweeper, r regardless of if he saw mine before or not, because two flamers are not really required against Volks when you have bar. And however, mines can really completely file your, your attacks, so you want to get um, minesweeper. And when you're fighting only volts, as I said, you don't have to flank. You don't really need to flank. You just should keep two or three squad together, and just focus five volts as he did before, and completely d um, kill them. Should be capping that point. I don't know what why he didn't get it either. He's focus focusing on the medics. That's good. You always want to kill the medics first, otherwise that's just giving free squad to your opponent. There you see flame troll coming, you should just move a bit like he did, now it's my crow. Moving away from the flames since the range isn't that, that great. Those Volks are in a really bad position once again, because once those riflemen will be there, they'll try to soft retreat but have to work on that right cover, so he should be retreating them as soon as possible because he will lose too much men, not retreating them. Sh uh, he's using for the Fatherland. But it's still not enough um, for compensating the right cover and the bar focus firing. So once again, very bad um, play from Wehrmacht, not in a good position. Um, he's not taking the fight correctly. The fights correctly. He put some nice mines, but he didn't um, force the riflemen on them. Uh, not exactly in American mines. The Wehrmacht mine is right there. He should have been uh, there with the Volks and uh, forcing the riflemen to hold close and run for that mine and not put the mine behind himself. So that's kind of strange, that's not the best for a HQ strat I've seen. He's not doing it uh, very well. And he has been going for the tier 3 and Puma, which is the appropriate counters to bar. But the American player at such an advantage early game that he can already afford whatever he wants to he put an observation person of fuel so he can get um, tank depot for example or I will go for tank depot because he has the fuel and it is, uh, it's Pumas. There's no need to go for a mate, you can uh, directly get a battle units which is tank depot. You should also get sticky bombs to prevent to prevent Puma from kiting rifleman. Don't try to um, uncap the forward HQ, that's never going to work. Every every time you put in doing this, it's basically time you're resting because the Fairmark player or any player in the game can just enter the building and stop the capping. So you, you're you basically wasting time ca in capping this. So don't, don't do that. You should first kill all of the units before ever trying to uncap the, the HQ. And now he's not killing the medics, so he's suffering grenadiers. So the American player was really good at until that point, but uh, now he just gave a free squad to the Wehrmacht player, he has no counter to the b to the Puma, and um, I'm afraid um, yeah, he might lose one squad, but maybe not. So that's, that's okay, he kept the squad alive, he's got veterancy, he's now building tank depots, as I was advising um, you to do if you're watching this replay. He lost um, one engineer squad, I didn't see when it happened. Um, but you don't want to lose squads, so that's also s putting him far um, far behind, well not far behind, but a bit behind. And also while he was fighting there, he could have sent one engineer squad that he lost, but if he didn't lose it, he could send capping in the back while the Wehrmacht army is, wait is um, busy covering the forward HQ. Um, now he's unlocking rangers. I don't really agree with that choice. Mm, I guess it can be a good um a good uh, complement to the tank units. But um at that point in the game unless he had infantry earlier which I don't think it did since I didn't see rifle handling mines. He could have gone maybe for armor doctrine since it's a stronger doctrine in the delayed game and it would also have been 
working very well with the tank depot like if he had um, field repairs or added or machine he could be using that nicely with the tank depot you now it's just floating a lot of munitions and I don't really know how we will spend them um, I guess some mines and sticky bombs should be using a sticky bomb to finish that puma but he's not going for I mean if he wanted to s to throw that sticky bomb he would have to walk out of cover and take some fire so I guess he's just waiting on the M10 to come so he will spare some munition and not lose manpower trying to rush the puma which I can blame I can blame him for doing that and um, that's that's okay however it might be too late it depends um, if he can finish it or if he will actually not be able which is he's using um, off map I don't know why he retreated I guess he saw it too late because he could have just moved back he, he just went safe but because he went safe he will lose that puma at least one of them he should focus focus that one to finish it yeah and he, cou he could follow the second one but he might be he might he should be careful to mine still he should send the rifleman now there's no no threat for them he should send them to sticky dust too and the ranchers are coming that's not a bad idea but as i said i don't know if he had another m10 instead of rangers and use them um, field repairs or lead war machine he could just um Br um, brute force the different right out of the map. Now he, he will have he lost in an engineer already. He's using off map on moving units. That's not a good idea. I mean, that's yeah. You can be lucky and get one good shot, but then he should be following with the M10 to finish them. But if you don't get, I mean, it it was a ni nice. It can be a nice one if you are lucky, but it's not a s um, safe safe move in the long run. And e there were medics popping out again, so you should definitely kill them. Or there's another another grenadier squad. So at that point, you shouldn't be fighting near near the forward HQ. And I think yeah, that doctrine was kind of a mistake. Rangers still haven't done anything um, since they've been unlocked and called. No, there comes, but it's too late. And he already at only infantry and getting those rangers will just be even more infantry. So I don't really like this doctrine choice. I think he would have done much better armor doctrine and using munitions in mass tank spam. Tank spam instead of what he's doing now. Because he's just fighting near near the medic bunker, feeding grenadiers. Once again, those can reinforce and he can't, so at some point he will have to retreat and the Vermont player will be on the field. And he's just repairing, so finally it was uh, one on 150 munitions on the off map was for nothing, since repair is almost, almost free. So I don't I don't like um, how this is, this is going. Maybe if he went for Owitzer instead of Rangers, I, I would be okay with it, I mean. With one lucky with the shot, he could force a full retreat and get back the map. But not, I mean, he's not going to kill a defensive bunker with the only rangers. Yes, the demolition charges. So that was a really nice move to get the demolition charges. But he didn't use them, at, um, no, not a single one. And so it's really easy to just go there with the one engineer, so. I don't know why he got them and he didn't use them, it's kind of strange. And once again, one of map, um, of map shot. It's um, another, t well it forced a retreat, but that's it and that's not... Killing two Volks and, ret and retreating in the position he is, he has no units to take advantage of that retreat. So that's kind of wasting munitions, I don't like that. He's getting motor pool. I guess he wants to go for eighty guns since he saw the Stug and all of those Puma. I guess, yeah, why not, but I don't like that, because there's tier, st tier 3, so you can get Nebels, and Nebels will hard counter the, the AT gun. So I wouldn't go for that, I, I definitely think um, the armor company and EV tank push would have been better at um, at the previous point in the game. Um, it's not a bad choice to get the AT gun, but I feel it's not the best. Just as simple as that, because Vermarkt is getting much more. He really had an opportunity to finish that game, 
I mean, for Red HQ, the games can be over in 10 minutes, and um, uh, maybe 15 if you are if you aren't lucky. But if you if you don't finish the game early, then the opponent can build a force and come back um, stronger. So there is just losing manpower by get getting some time um, in the buildings, but it's not. It's just. Uh, I mean, I'm. It's not going to win the game in the long run to just uh, wait and lose manpower in the building to get some time. He, he doesn't. He's not in a position to to need in time. It um, maybe yeah, time to get the AT gun, but that's not something you you want. I mean, the time at the, at at this point in the in the game, the the more the more longer it gets, the better it is for the Vermark player because he can just burn bigger biggest army and all that stuff. The forward HQ alone is kind of weak, but once you get the higher tiers, you're getting much better. However, the, the American player isn't really getting anything this time, since he already has the, his latest uh, production building. And yeah, so there's no no long run, no long run win in this case. And um, if a victory point, there's no long victory point win since the Wehrmacht has the the center of the map, so that's not the plan you should take. Um, at that point, so I'm kind of I'm kind of sad he, he wasted his early advantage and nice bar taking by doing um, by doing the EV infantry spam and and yeah I don't know what he he will do um, at that point. I mean there's. Vermark player should definitely get one naval warfare at that point, and that's everything he needs to counter everything the American player has. It's one naval warfare. Or if he could also, instead of naval warfare, getting more more th those two, he should at least get veteran C1. Um, in those two, as soon as you have tank as Vermark, you should build veteran C1 for the tanks. It's always worth it. So he should get the veteran C1 for those those two. And if he spams them, um, one AT gun isn't going to be able to to kill them easily. But yeah, I guess Nibble Warfare will be the safest safest bet. Um, there's Roger Anti Rui from Defensive Doctrine coming. I don't think it will do anything to the Rangers in the building, but if it forced the retreat to the Rifleman. And though there's, there's nothing left to protect the AT gun. So that's definitely... Yeah, the American player is, is just giving away his, his advantage. Um, the Vermont player didn't even have to actually do anything to to come back. Just um, just uh, um, allowed to come back with a bad taking taking plan. He could also get a mortar. I mean, against um, static defense like that, um, getting weapon support center and mortar would be definitely good, especially on this map. So. After the second AT gun, could go for Mortar or Oizar. And yeah, definitely when the game is static, um, you want indirect fire. It, I don't know if he has sticky bombs. I, yeah, I think he maybe it doesn't. I don't know. But he should have. If he, if he tr threw a sticky bomb on that Stug, um, it would be dead already. So I don't know what he's doing uh, at that point. He should finish the tanks. If he's damaging them and not finishing them, that's like if he's doing nothing since there's a repair bunker, there's a pioneers. So he want to finish them. I don't know why he didn't throw a sticky bomb. He didn't have them, he should have them much earlier. Uh, as soon as he saw the, the, the tier 3, he should have gotten sticky bombs. But he still managed to kill those pumas because bad micro didn't get out because even though he saw the Atigan. Um, don't lose that AT gun. Um, there's still the point there, so you can still use a uh, registered artillery. So be careful. You should uncap that point when there's defensive doctrine. And as we see, there's still no machine gun since it's only the forward HQ. And if you don't get the Vermont quarters, you can't get any machine gun. So the riflemen have free free range of the field. You can just um, stay there and not be suppressed and just fire. So they they'll get huge veteran C from all of those infantry. Um yeah I don't know it's Vermark player was, was a bit careless with those tanks and Pumas and lost of the lost them. If he had ever one neighbor welfare, as I said, he's coming now but it's too late. If he had it earlier he could be he could have decrewed that AT gun and forced the infantry to retreat since a long time ago. 
and he would be in a much better position by if he kept all of those units alive and he still has lots of infantry so he could he could go he should definitely go capping that victory point when the American player is retreating he has nothing to cover the field so he could not not the wall the wall blow but just send one Volk squad and that forced the American player to spread his units and not just fight and there is lots of manpower spent in reinforcing if he goes if you go infantry if infantry uh, spam you should get um, supplier level 1 mm, pretty soon pretty early in the game um, not delaying it that much because then you have manpower issue and you don't want that and you're also getting less veterancy um, yeah so the Vermark player is still in the game the main main issue is the, the all of those infantry but once the riflemen get nice veterancy tree they will be able to kill those volks and grenadiers quite easily he lost the last engineers he had so that's bad micro I don't know why he didn't get out he still was trying to get time but I don't know so yeah at that point this veteran C3 squad is really nice and he should focus fire or the Wehrmacht army but there's still the medics I don't know why he still didn't try to go with the demolition charge from behind and you don't want to be rushing you should be focus firing um, there's no point in rushing. Mm, I guess you're the nebels, so that makes sense. Also using grenades, so that definitely makes sense. However, I'm I'm not sure. I mean, yeah, it's just uh, this game is not really interesting if it's going to be just that. Or it was really cool um, until that point, but now it's just one blob against the other. That's not extremely cool to see. Um, Especially since American is fighting with half of his army at the same time. I don't know why he's doing that. That's kind of stupid. And we see there's lots of cover everywhere. Green cover, um, yellow cover mainly, sorry. Um, so the, um, the Vermark player doesn't do... Both players don't do much damage to the other. So the fights are going for long. They are, they are being... In yeah, the, I don't know how to say that. They're just being long. And there is enough map, I think it killed Pioneer Squad, not really worth it. Um, I should definitely uh, try to, uh, with the AT gun, if he can kill that Stug, he should at least get the other D gun, kill the edge uh, with uh, attack ground. And once the edge is down with the AT gun, he can easily shot the bunker and the HQ N um, until um, they are alive. Just two buildings are alive, the Verma can just keep reinforcing on the field and the US player won't be able to win the game um, so he should be killing the edge and killing the buildings he should have gone for the demolition charge much earlier on the on the bunker and I'm really sad he, he didn't do it and now he had to re retreat all of the riflemen as I said he has to retreat and Vermont is already on the field so that's not good finally supply had one nice nice move came a bit late but it is better late than never um, but you shouldn't fight with those units you shouldn't be fighting with those units alone you should be waiting and making a massive push with everything focus firing and then overcoming um, getting map back killing the buildings one rifleman after the other it's not not a good not good play just all of those, wait, there's one other squad there coming coming alone. Um, it's not not cool, just play with all of your forces together. But still, there's still no machine gun and Vermac lost all of those tanks. I, do I don't know how comes he still... I don't know why he doesn't have much more resources because quite frankly, he doesn't seem to have much um, compared to what I would be expecting. I see for listening on those two. Um, he should be. Yeah, he shouldn't have lost those tank before. He should have gone for the nebel faster. And now there's finally a big push with all of the units. So if he doesn't go in the nebel, yeah, there's the nebel. So you might get suppressed or forced in retreat. That's bad. He shouldn't have done that. He could have just walked uh, some uh, walk away forward or with a backward and avoid the nebel fire but the massive retreat wasn't good um. 
I don't know what what's his plan actually to win. Uh, he's American player is doing the same thing since for the Vermont it's pretty obvious he's just waiting to build the massive force and then just uh, so massive that at some point American player won't be able to come back on the field but uh, the American player I don't feel he has a strong game plan to win the game um, he's keep doing those fights in the middle yeah he's getting some nice veterans here on the rifleman but um, I don't know. We saw killing all of these buildings and stuff. You don't. I don't see how we'll be able to come back. I think the Vermont player should put a machine gun bunker because since he doesn't have MG42, he should. Yeah, maybe put an MG bunker to cover the victory point and 180 gun isn't going to kill the the MG bunker from defensive doctrine. Um, so you should definitely do that in my opinion. Uh, it's always a nice, nice way to keep the opponent away. And I don't know why he's going for north, north position. There's no point in preventing the fuel now. I guess Vermark player has lots of fuel. Yeah, it does. So I, I don't think it's really useful to, to go for there. I don't know. There's no point in going for the base since he's defensive doctrine. There's the machine gun on top of the, the base. So that's that's kind of useless. I mean, whatever he will do with them. I guess he hopes forcing. Mm, I don't know. Maybe if if he forced a retreat, he could kill the retreating unit when they walk past that wet cover road. But um, I don't know. Uh, he's <laughs> just going for the base, but there's nothing in the base to kill for him. He's luring the MG uh, to to kill uh, the. I mean, it's luring the MG fire in the rifleman to allow the engineer to go there, but it won't ever be enough. One uh, demolition charge won't be able to kill T3. You must be using two of them. Um, so, I don't know. Yeah, as I said, it doesn't have flamethrower, so we'll need the second one. I guess he wasn't expecting this, since he seems kind of lost. And that stupid rush allowed the Wehrmacht to decrew the AT gun to and to get completely the map. So I completely disagree with that rush. Um, it was really bad, really, really bad. You wanted to use the demolition charge on that bunker since like the start of the game, and not now. And um, that the, the base that's really, s really not not good. You won't ever <laughs> be able to finish. Uh, at that's really painful to watch really really painful and there's is he off map on the C3 yeah I guess he j just felt like he, he wanted to kill it so he just used uh, much more munition than he would have if he had flamethrowers he would have killed it for 50 munitions and now he uh, just had to spend 200 so that's a huge difference and those riflemen, I'm, I, they probably won't be finished on the retreat because they're full health. But you really must be careful when you go for the base to the retreat path. Um, that can be bad, but yeah, since they discover everywhere they're full health, uh, they should be kind of safe. But still, yeah, it was bad play there. So worst to the altitude coming should be careful. And uh, yeah, I st I feel uh, game plan. Yeah, it's. it's pretty painful because he had such an upper end and it's those those mistakes um I I, I won't <laughs> I don't know I, I almost want to stop the replay now but I, I won't do that because I'm sure you guys want to see the end. But it was a cool game until that point and now it's getting kind of boring. It's the same stuff over and over, same mistakes being done and just yeah both players being kind of blind um I mean tunnel vision on what they were doing. There's nothing really happening. Still no, no MG bunker. I would have liked to see that, but yeah, I guess not a big deal. And there it is, rifleman push. But I guess Vermont player will have so much uh, registered the uh, artillery munition for for that, that American player will have a hard time getting back the map. I mean, he could have used Rogerstone Altiri there um, now, but he didn't, and can just fire or force a retreat if we start it. 
so the user's player won't be able to get back the map for at least five more minutes. He's, he's stuck on that on that position for at least five minutes. I'm pretty sure. He's finally getting the Orwitzer, so that's really good. Better late than never. Um, that's the definitely a, a unit you want against um camping uh, situation. Mm, but I don't know. It seems missed pretty much everything. I guess he was aiming for the blob, but he should have been maybe aiming for the naval rifle and just aim the blob next time he was there with the rifleman. And there is um, the Stug now getting nice veterancy. There's still four now coming up, and that might be a real problem for American players since he lost the Eti gun. One is there, he can, he might get this one back. Vermark player should have um, killed that Eti gun or um, stole it, stolen it, and there is another Eti gun there, but it's on the end of the opponent. Toss will have to retreat, I mean, they won't be able to do anything. That's not going that's so far from the base that's such a long walking path you're not going to win by harassing this you're going to win by cracking the middle you have to crack that bunker use the demolition charge you upgrade it and you could ever get a still no weapon support center get a mortar you smoke to approach the bunker adjust mortar the um, position um, the orbits are do those lots more damage but it's it has kind of a long cooldown However, if you get a mortar, you can just fire almost non-stop to those units. Now that would be a good time for the Witzer shot, not sure if it's ready yet. And those um, rangers won't do anything to stuck frontal armor. And the riflemen won't do anything either, so you can just scare him away with the sticky bombs. But you won't be able to kill them with what he has. He should have bring bringing back the AT gun at the same time as he pushed with the infantry. And yeah, nice push on the on the north. He should have put a mine there, one or two mines before going for that munitions because that's obvious. The American player will f send something to to send him uh, to to force him a retreat. So if he put two mines in a row, the rifleman would have a nasty surprise. And now there's finally the edge being down and Atigan finally starting to kill that bunker. So that might be finally the start of the the win for the American player. Since that's what he needed since the start. It was killing that bunker in position. And he's getting some really impressive frequency. Um, once again, that's what's going to happen when uh, Vermag doesn't have a T1 and MG42. The American infantry will really do lots lots of kills t um, against those infantry only uh, Wehrmacht situation so that was expectable um, I mean uh, that's always happening like that in such case and there is the AT gun alone he will probably get the crew there's some off map but it's on moving units so I guess once again one lucky shot but that's it um, yeah I, I should have retreated the Eti gun when he saw the Wehrmacht, um, the rifleman having to retreat and now there's finally the focus fire on the Eti gun with attack move to finish it so that's night play, we'll have to get a new one maybe with off map combat group instead of motor pool but he doesn't have enough population cap so he should go capping this point, this point, maybe this one to be able to call the off map or maybe losing <laughs> too much rifleman because the Orwitzer is taking lots of population cap and there's still one squad loss, so that's nice. You definitely want to reduce the number of squad one after the other by focus firing or by artillery or whatever. And now with that cover everywhere, the two won't do much damage to the rifleman. There's too much cover for the rifleman to be afraid. So he can just run, throw sticky bombs. He should cap the victory point because he's uh, either the 100 victory point message can just blob with no afraid of, of MG, focusing infantry, finally focusing infantry with all of his squads and doing lots of damage. And he can throw vet veteran seat crew sticky bombs doing lots of damage against um, the Stug. He might ever be able to finish it with that one. And uh, now it's <laughs> the rest of that we will finish it. And he lost enough infantry on that fight to call 
um, the rough map and he really got a nice rough map um, M10 and M10 and Tegan you're sure to get at least one of them but not the two of them so that's really what he needed to finish the tanks it would have been better with mortar and MG instead of two ra more riflemen he, really ha he already has enough riflemen but uh, I guess yeah, the, the um, M10 and Etigan were w really what he needed and Mortar and uh, MG would have been just awesome but there's um, always at least one rifleman so y the best would have been one Mortar than one of those two riflemen. It's kind of near perfect of map anyway on this situation. If he had to get all of those units in buildings it would have cost more than what he had to pay. And he should finally, yeah, he finally killed the uh, the bunker, and he's close to be killing the forward HQ. He should bring in the M10 and 80 gun to finish it, and that's finally what he could have done like uh, 30 minutes ago. It's winning that game. I don't know why he's not capping that victory point. That's a huge mistake. Um, it's really running out of victory points, and. He needs them to not lose. He got this one, so uh, that's good. You shouldn't have sent the veteran C3 rifleman to cap behind the line because you want that squad to be fighting. You should have sent one of the squad he got with the off-map combat group, which is veteran C0, to, to, to go behind and capping, not the best squad he had. And he should be using those stuff to f kill the HQ. That should be his priority. If everyone just, just kill the HQ first, and then you can kill the tanks. Because the HQ is so low health, there's only one shot to finish it, and you're and you're done. Um, there's a big push now coming. Um, I missed those riflemen, veteran C3 riflemen, on the field at the time. Um, but I guess he might manage to win it anyway, since the neighbor warfare didn't kill the Atigan. So there's nothing. He has nothing left. Uh, no sniper. He should. He should have gone. I, I think he should have gone for most tug and more nibble instead of tier 4. When he lost the tier 3, I think he should have cut it again instead of tier 4 and get more stooks and more veteran C, I mean veteran C3 and at least one more nibbles to finish the uh, the Etigan and in infantry. Um, yeah, I guess game will be a bit more exciting now since there's all of those fights happening. Um, the Vermarks finally lost his stro the, um, strong position in the middle. Artillery doing some nice no damage. And those riflemen, that's really sad. It's the Veteran C0 riflemen fighting instead of the Veteran C3 that's sitting in the base in so long. And we've seen, you can see awesome, really awesome Veteran C and lots of kill riflemen squad. That's really nice to have kept them alive, but I must admit the strat Stylo used allowed for a such veterancy um, you it would be much more impressive to have such veterancy against standard tier, tier 1, tier 2 play or stuff like that um, but it's still a really great ach uh, achievement but it would be um, much ever much better achievement if there was MG and all that stuff and now he was afraid of the neighbors he nicely moved um, Etigan back but there's the M10 alone, he might lose it to, to all of those tanks. Um, I would be surprised if it wasn't the case. Uh, it might not be the case, but it's kind of lucky. And the sticky bombs will do lots of damage to that Panzer IV. He should throw those sticky bombs at 1C2, so they have longer range. And I think one sticky bomb will kill this one, and maybe two from the C2 Rifleman can still kill the other. And they will probably both go down. I don't know, he sent them all on the same tank. He should have sent at least one on the other tank. Just kind of over overuse. He could call an another off map. I would I would call it at that point to just hope for more intense or eighty guns, at least uh, one of them. Even if it gives ever more infantry, uh, who cares? You just one that tank, cheaper tank, or you can get it from the tank depot, could could queue three and ten in the tank depot should be doing one of them. Don't lose that veteran C3 squad. Oh, that was sad. Nice rifleman, shouldn't have lost, lost it. This one might be even more awesome with the assault bar, but that was not worth it to lose, lose another squad to just give a assault bar to this one. 
And the Etigan should finish those those tanks. They are all low, low, low health. And he should use armor passing round to be sure to open it with the frontal armor. I'm not sure why he's not using. Ah, he doesn't have any missions. And the off map gave an M10, um, an M8, sorry, an AT gun, and the mortar, nice, it's always good. And one more rifleman, as, as always. I'm not sure, yeah, nice. I, I was going to say not sure he can kill it from the front, but he actually did it. Why should have just gone in this back? And that's nice going for the base with the M8 that will force the Panzer IV to move from the middle of the map and allow Rifleman and all, this all of the stuff to take a stronger ground. I mean, if you just fight with the M8 in that position, the Wehrmacht will just stay there. And if he went sadly, he lost the engine, but if he didn't lose the engine and went for the base, it really forced the Wehrmacht to spread his units and that's a weaker position. I'm afraid the Mortar is a bit too far on the battlefield. Should be keeping it behind the building. But that second 80 gun will definitely do the job. He should take over that one. I'm not sure if he saw. Uh, maybe not taking it when there's the Nycroft uh, door coming. Uh, definitely not. And I also, yeah, I wanted to. I, I was already going to conclude, but it's maybe a bit too, too early. He should be maybe, since he saw the Nycro Sanders, um, he should be maybe getting a Sherman because those, um, those will be able to always decrude the AT gun because there is the cover everywhere. So maybe, yeah, maybe a Sherman, but since there is the awesome veteran situation, rifleman, <laughs> that's actually not even a problem. And finally, armor pressing used, but I'm afraid that the um, Panzer IV will go out of range. And there's one neighbor, neighbor shot. I'm not sure what he will try. Yeah, it's kind of bad. To ah, nice. He still, that was probably worth it since he killed the, the Panzer IV to lose the Etigan. gun. But if he lose this one too, he will end up with no Etigan at all. So I, I guess the Vermont player is just hoping for victory point win. Victory point. Mm. Nice, one more tank killed. Um, it seems like yeah, everything is going in the way of the American player at that point. It's, it's just... Um, he should send that M8, repair it and cover the victory point um, with the M8. That M8 sitting there is useless. He should get... Uh, yeah, yeah, I think we'll do it. Get this and he should be capping victory point because that's definitely the only way you can lose at that point. And Vermark player has no unit left, so one 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 Volksgrenadier isn't going to be able to cap enough map to allow him a comeback, I think. Um I think it's kind of lost at that point for him. He lost too much stuff um but we'll see, we'll never know. Um where's the uh, engineer? And it's coming for the M8. It's cool. Um, he should be hiding behind the edge. He should be not doing what he did there. He could have been just sitting there and if the Panzer IV tried to flank the edge, he could use a sticky bomb. So he shouldn't be on op in the open field. He should have just stayed behind the edge. And there is, yeah, AT gun still one in the field. Um, yeah, basically... I don't I don't see how the Vermont could come back, especially with defensive doctrine. It's not in a position to come back, there's no EV tank, there's no... no nice doctrine ability to allow, allow a nice comeback, it's just uh, defensive stuff. And it should be in the offensive, so... Maybe thanks to defensives, if he still has many chance, he can delay delay is lost a bit, but I'm afraid not much. And he's keeping building to Spencer 4 against the Tegan, I don't understand that. Well, I mean, there's pretty much nothing he could build to counter veteran Citro Rifleman. Only a Sniper would maybe be able to do it and MG to suppress, but not when they discover we were. So at that point, seriously, I don't think he has any units, really no units to counter those Riflemen. Not a single of them. 
to snack cross can always try but against veteran c0 yeah but not against the veteran c3 not against the mate uh, what oh, it's a bar he didn't see it I guess he could be grabbing it and he could finish that with the m8 if I saw that if I was him that Panzer Forest I would send the m8 and I think he's doing it nice nice move he could send the M8 either to kill the Nebel or to kill that low health Panzer IV from, from the back. Uh, I would have gone for the Panzer IV. Um, didn't, but I would have tried if I was him. And he should be getting Shermans now. He shouldn't kill another off map because he really has enough infantry and doesn't really need an 80 gun. One more 80 gun. Doesn't really need some 10 M8. He already has all of this. So he should, I think he should just build Sherman so River Crocodile to prevent the Snake Cross to rushing. I mean, anything to prevent the Snake Cross to rushing that 8 again. And yeah, I don't know. It doesn't really matter, but. It's definitely getting worse and worse for Vermont. I think it's just trying till the end. But I don't see that working. He should use that mate to push the Ignite Cross. He doesn't want them to to decrude yet again. Um, those have no chance against the Vatom C3 Rifleman. They will just die in a second. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Completely ripped. And the other one will just be the same. Did he upgrade level 2 supply yard? Yeah, good, good move. And there it is, freestyle or living. So that's it. Um, I think it was a pretty cool game, a bit boring in the mid game. But it, it, um, it was cool in the early game and it was also cool in the end game. So um, I'm happy I, I got this one. Um, to conclude the strategy, I think. I already told pretty much um, everything for the American player. Um, nice, nice play going bar, but it wasn't really well timed at the start of the game. Should have waited to have bar to make the first fight. Um, then um, he went for the um, infantry. I think I would have gone for armor and just massive tank push to finish the game instead of this infantry stuff. Um, but um, I don't know. I guess it would have been better, but still won, so that's that's okay. Um, for the Wehrmacht, I think he did a lot of mistakes. Um, first mistake was going, not being at the good position with the Volks, and not putin putting enough mines and wires in the center of the map. Um, I think that was really a early game mistake. Also going defensive, I don't like doing against um I with the forward HQ. You already have the HQ to reinforce, so you don't need to also reinforce near bunker. So I don't understand defensive choice. Um, if we if we'll you go for an another doctrine in the mid game, you can just um get units to counter those riflemen. I mean, if you're going for Blitzkrieg, you can get um stu, and the stu will decimate the riflemen. Or you could get, um, and you would have a tiger in the end game, and that can always be make nice some some nice comebacks. You could also um, have the king tiger with um, terror train force um, have a pro propaganda war to force retreat the bl rifleman blob. And I feel defensive is weak in, um, in forward HQ situation. Um, I don't really like it. It's um, it's a bit. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't like it. Um, but 
special on this map since uh, 88 don't really have any impact I mean, in another map like Angeville or, Angeville or Langres you could put an 88 and kill the AT gun with the 88 pr prevent them from coming close to the tanks but on this map it's kind of a pain to do so I don't know about the doctrine I think it was not a good choice um, also 10 he lost tanks um, by not marking them correctly getting the Vente once you want too late, not getting enough Nebel to control the blob um, you could also backtake to tier 1 to get snipers or machine gun it's never a bad idea to get, to get those especially the snipers, I mean machine gun wouldn't do much against those um, huge veteran sea riflemen with cover on the whole map but sniper could steal one shot every, every man so that can at least um, yeah, kill the man, decrease the manpower um, of the opponent and force him to maybe get a counter snipe which would, uh, which would be countered by... I mean, if you force him to also get a counter to sniper he will have less counter to your infantry and tanks um, I think, yeah, that, that covers the most part um, can I think of anything else about that game? Yeah, definitely not enough mines from Vermark player. He should have put much, much more mines. And maybe he could have completely locked down that area um, by w uh, building over and over the, the wires. And yeah, thanks, thanks for watching. I think I've done, I've told everything I wanted. Um, don't forget to check my new YouTube channel, SepsioH. Um, check the other video I have made today, two of them. If you have a replay that um, you want you want me to review, and get it uh, to me one way or another. Just contact me and and uh, yeah, don't forget to leave me comments and and have um, a good night if that's night for you. At least it's for me now. It's not yet night, but the evening and so if you're also in Europe and it's the evening and you're watching the game right now have a good evening have a good night if you're somewhere else have a good day good morning or whatever and thanks for watching